How is it? So much you reaction. This is a new way to understand cancer. Well, chal khuzgazat in a nutshell. Yes, this is another khuzgazat video. It's about cancer. They've been doing that recently, and this is really interesting. See, that's that's what I like about khuzgazat nowadays. They have this series of videos. They they touch from now on then basically. So you know, I'm pretty sure you know they made a similar video just a video or two ago, uh, and this is going to be more in depth about that. But yeah, this video was partially financed by Gates Venture. Oh, here we go. Yeah, people are gonna bitch about that now, apparently. Yeah, that's a thing. It's you know, it's financed by Gates Venture, so it must be some kind of propaganda. Like really, it's literally talking about you know how to understand cancer. I mean, yeah, I reacted to that video, uh, the criticism video, hit piece, whatever you want to call it, and it, uh, you know, to me it felt like here and there it just it was all over the place, right? whole argument was just took money from the billionaires so it's a problem media shouldn't take money from like his problem was more of how system works than to curse that himself but yeah so let's go this one remember if you like my reaction or like subscribe so i know which type of videos to react to more check out the reaction under this link in the description and yeah let's do it an undead city under siege soldiers and police ruthlessly shooting down waves of zombies that flood from infected streets trying to escape and infect more cities this is what happens when your body fights cancer. More exciting than any movie. How does this battle for survival unfold? Yeah, as far as I know, I mean, there's a difference between tumor and cancer. Lots of people don't even realize that people just hear of tumor and they're like, this is another word for cancer. No, tumor can be many things, right? Uh, it could be benign, probably something that's, uh, you know, not going to hurt you. That's the case most of the time, right? It's like, oh, it's a tumor, but it's a benign tumor. That's not cancer. Cancer is when that cells, group of cells decide that they are not going to go away and they're going to do their own thing and starts to grow, actually uh, suck resources around them, which they shouldn't get, actually hurting tissues around it and just basically slowly damaging organs and it just get bigger and bigger and that's it's a problem. One, the elimination phase. It all begins with a single corrupted cell. It's no longer able to repair its genetic code, it can't kill itself anymore, and it's beginning to multiply rapidly. At this point, mm. things are not great, not terrible. This cell is not yet dangerous, but if nothing happens, it soon will be. Over a few weeks, the corrupted cell keeps making copies of itself. One cell turns into dozens, hundreds, thousands. Because the original was broken, its copies are breaking and mutating even more. Mm. They turn into different genetic lineages, clans that are working together and competing. Some mutate in a way that makes them weaker, others mutations don't change anything, while a few become fitter and better at survival. Basically a virus together, is they now See, you can see the similarity between virus and it because basically both are kind of like cells. So there's a similarity and, uh, you know, I've heard people say like, you know, cancer is like, you know, uh, this kind of, basically they add intent to it. Like cancer has its own will deliberately. It's like, you know, prison break or something, you know, it didn't want to die and it's just doing its own thing and all that. I've seen, you know, I've heard lots of people say that and I'm like, Are you, do you really believe that? You're just, you know, more of a flamboyant way of putting it. And I think some people really believe that. Look, man, cells don't have will like that, right? If their functions to kill themselves, some, they malfunction, right? And when they malfunction, they, they, they basically do what cells do, which multiply, right? And then try to survive. It's so much of an intense what cells do, right? It's, it's just malfunction of whole system rather than having some kind of intent. Even when people say cell just want, you know, uh, cancer cell is just that cell doesn't want to die, want to live. You just add this kind of a, I don't know how to say, like whole personality and, you know, will to it. That's not the case. That's, that's just what cell do. It's like autonomous, right? It's just like how it works. Form a tiny, tiny tumor. Not cancer yet, but getting there. The growing tumor needs a lot of resources. If the cells don't get food and oxygen, they'll die and the problem just solves itself. Unfortunately, a few corrupted cells unlock a new mutation that saves them, the ability to order the growth of new blood vessels. And so your body provides the supply they need to survive. But as the tumor continues to grow, it starts causing damage. Neighboring healthy cells begin to starve and die, which attracts attention. In a sense, this tiny tumor... By the way, this blood vessel thing, right? Nobody really, I mean, I don't know if you think about it, but I do think about it a lot. Like, our system is so good. 
Now, every single portion of your body, your blood will reach to it because there will be some blood. If not, there is no blood vessel like damage. It will repair and create a blood vessel there. Like there is a delivery system of blood every single point of your body because if any cell doesn't receive blood, it's not going to receive oxygen. It's going to die. So every single cell of your body somehow receives blood. Like that whole system is so fucking awesome whenever I think about it. And that's why, you know, whenever you want to wanna put anything, like, if you want to have a, like, NSAID, like, non uh, you know, anti-inflammatory drugs, basically something that, does, you know, inflammation, removes inflammation. Now, you can just take that pill, knowing that that pill, basically, that chemical will mix into the blood and will reach any part of the body that requires, basically, that, because blood will reach any part of the body. The whole system is so good. It's like a rogue town. Imagine a group of rebels in Brooklyn decide that they're no longer part of New York and start a new settlement called Tumortown, which happens to occupy the same this is space. So good, man. I love the this. new city <laughs> wants to grow, so it orders tons of steel beams, cement, and drywall. New buildings follow no logic, are badly planned, ugly, and dangerously crooked. They're built right in the middle of streets, on top of playgrounds, and on They're existing infrastructure. The old neighborhood is torn down or overbuilt to make room for new stuff. Many of the former residents. I love this. I love how he uses analogy and everything, right? This is the same thing, right? The, the criticism video. That guy had a problem because I'm pretty sure he saw that animation of the superhero cape thing and they're like, you know, he's just making them out to be hero. No, that's what he's. Because uh, I do this because kids watch this. Like, look at how this, he's making all these cells evil and smiling and how analogies he's using about town and everything. I love this town analogy, right? Like, you know, architect they hire suck basically, their <laughs> materials suck. Cheap steel residents are trapped in the middle of it and begin to starve. This goes on for a while until the smell of death rats, attracts attention. <laughs> Building inspectors and police show up. In your body, attracted by the stench of dead cells, your immune system is activated. First responder immune cells invade the tumor. Macrophages and natural killer cells. Police forces that go right to work killing and eating tumor cells. They release chemical signals that let the whole immune system know that there is cancer to be eradicated. Dendritic cells, the intelligence officers of your immune system, collect samples of dead tumor cells and begin activating your heavy weapons, helper and killer T cells. Yep. We explained these specialized yeah. super weapons in another video, but all you really need to know is that they have a library listing every bad thing that could come into your body. Mm. While each cancer that is, is so unique, good. there are genetic corruptions that they can't hide. Complexity and of RNA, DNA and all that. Seriously, man, I, I remember that. Obviously, I don't remember all of it because there were multiple videos like that, but somewhat I remember it. I seriously need to, I mean, obviously I'm a physics guy. I've said it many times. But I seriously need to, you know, go deep into biology because the complexity is so fucking good. Like, you know, when you really think about the system, like, holy shit, the, you know, evolution this many years, how this system take time to perfect like this. And even then, like, you know, our body wither away and die by something here and there. Just imagine how much threat are there that even this kind of complex system can take it. And your T cells know what to look for. They are the deadliest cancer killers you have. Mm. By the time they Basically arrive, bombs. the tumor has grown to hundreds of thousands of cells. But this is about to change. Yeah, I don't know if possible, but killer T cells are the reason whenever you have pneumonia, that's a problem if it becomes too much because it will damage your own lung. T cells block the growth of new blood vessels, which starves thousands of tumor cells and puts an end to their growth. Imagine the building inspectors switching off electricity and water and putting up roadblocks to Cancer Town so no more food or materials can be delivered. With no way to hide from the carnage unfolding, the tumor collapses as hundreds of thousands of tumor cells are massacred. Their carcasses are cleaned up and consumed by macrophages that then order healthy tissue to regenerate. Your body has crushed the illegal tumor town without mercy. You'll never know about this fight or how many times this has happened inside your body. Except, in this case, something didn't go as planned. 2. The Equilibrium Phase Okay. Unfortunately, natural selection spores your victory. By doing its best to destroy the tumor, your immune system accidentally selects the fittest tumor cells. Fuse Remember, the, road. the tumor consists of different lineages that keep growing and keep mutating. Most mm. of these are eradicated, but just a few are more resilient. One cell survives, it comes from the fittest tumor lineage and was just a bit better at surviving the massacre than anyone else. It decides to do it all over again. 
but better this time. This tumor cell is much stronger than any of the thousands that were killed. Maybe it's better at hiding or fighting back. Maybe it grows faster or is better at stealing resources. Maybe it can survive with much less oxygen. And so it all begins again. It's like the surviving rebels that started tumor... See, the sturdy one, I mean, uh, you can really pinpoint it and take it out. That is a possibility. But something that grows faster, that's that becomes really fast issue. Like, yeah, even if you take something like chemotherapy or something, right, uh, you... you you know, it generates more than you can kill. And by that point, it just becomes that like, you know, now we can't do nothing because it doesn't matter what we do. It's, it's at a stage where we'll just multiply more and more. That's the more dangerous thing. ...town have learned their lessons. Now they know the law better and how to break it, what permits help them, and how to avoid the police. And so the surviving tumor cell makes thousands of copies that mutate and form new lineages until once again, a tumor has grown made up of more resilient cells. The immune system doesn't care though, and this time it even has experience. Instead of starting with police, SWAT teams go right in to tear Tumor Town down, mm. killing its inhabitants without mercy. But once again, they, they like don't get everyone. Once. One of them survives, a fitter tumor cell from an already fitter lineage. This time it gets a cheap suit and studies the building code, <laughs> pretending to be a lawyer to start Tumor Town all over again. I don't know why this is funny to me. Like he's like one of those cartoons, right? Like I survived, but <laughs> look at the face of him, they beat the shit out of it. Like barely just, you know, <laughs> twitching and everything. I was still alive. <laughs> this struggle now repeats a few times. Each time the rebels learn a bit more about how to avoid the law. If at any point the immune system gets all of the tumor cells, the story ends. But in this case, it doesn't. Finally, a tumor cell changes in a way that makes it properly dangerous cancer. The type that kills people. Hmm. How? Immune cells have an off switch that deactivates them before they can attack, which in principle is a good idea. The hmm. immune system is extremely dangerous and in many cases it needs to be shut down, like around your central nervous system. But this off switch can be exploited. The mutated tumor cell finds a way to switch the immune system off by targeting inhibitor receptors on anti-cancer cells. Inhibitor receptors stop immune cells from, well, killing. This cell is now the powerful founder of a new lineage of cancer cells and mass produces thousands of new copies that once again change and mutate further, building yet another tumor town. 3. The escape phase. The new cancer... Yeah, see, uh, the evolving of uh, basically any organic being is a really awesome thing to basically, you know, hear about because it's basically like this. If somebody punches you on the face over and over and over again, uh, your face will create some kind of a hard barrier or something, some kind of defense over it because it was getting punched over and over again. The, I know that's a weird analogy, but that's how it basically works. Like, you know, this, uh, you know, T cells and everything just keep killing it, keep killing it, keep killing it then it realizes like how to deactivate it it creates a defense against it so there is only so much you can like same problems with the antibiotics right uh, nowadays people abuse antibiotics so much like you get a bit of sneeze here and there fuck it take it antibiotic that has become such a problem that obviously all the germs and you know basic things will uh, you know get used to that and just like if you use antibiotics to constantly kill something all on the same type of antibiotics the same thing like this, it will create defenses against this. So it's not going to work. And then this kind of super jumps and things comes out. Only super is like because they have became immune uh, against that antibody. That's it. That's the only thing that makes them super. Uh, you know, I love whenever some, something like this, like I hear about it, like, how, you know, even the smallest cell, how it works. So cells have become immune to the immune system and everything is different this time. Tumor Town has been rebuilt, even uglier and stranger than before, but now the Kansas City Council has forged all sorts of permits. As building inspectors come to shut down construction, they get confused. Stunned, they wander off, unable to order the destruction of the sprawling buildings. Police try to enter the illegal city to arrest the builders and execute inhabitants, but this time Tumor Town has erected its own roadblocks that keep the law from entering. Confused officers stand around helplessly. People don't just say, I'm an entrepreneur, what are you talking about? I'm not a criminal. Of Brooklyn, and more Texas. and more civilians die, T-cell SWAT teams arrive to end this travesty. But things get worse. 
New lineages of Tuba Town officials have started to forge court documents that order police to shoot at the SWAT teams. What the cancer cells are doing at this point is actively shutting down immune defences by sending corrupt signals. Yeah. The now malignant tumour is no longer a pushover and has begun creating the cancer microenvironment, a sort of borderland that's hard to cross. All avenues of attack have been shut down and uncontrollable growth is the consequence. This is a dangerous tumour. Cells that are strong and able to fight push your immune system back and expand further. If more mutations happen, then some of the cancer cells will begin to explore the world and expand into other tissues to build new towns. And this is exactly what makes cancer so harmful. Actually, whenever it enters the bloodstream, I, most of the time that's like you're done type of thing, right? Like that's a pretty significant thing. But if it enters the bloodstream, depending what type of it is, but yeah. Because like I said, blood goes everywhere. Like if once it's bloody, it's going to be in every organ and yeah, that's it. It's taking up space and stealing so many nutrients that your true self has no room to function anymore. If this goes on for too long, organs will shut down. But this tactic is a dead end. The more successful cancer gets, the more damage it does to its world. When the body dies, the cancer dies too. It truly is a game without winners. Except humanity is planning to win this game. This At this very game. moment, hundreds of thousands of scientists are working on new and better ways of killing cancer to destroy and burn down tumor towns for good. Yeah, In recent specific. years, immunotherapy has made enormous progress. It's a relatively new therapy in which your own immune cells are modified to kill cancer better than any medicine can do. It's like giving your building inspectors machine guns and flames. But wait a minute, doesn't it damage your own uh, organs and things? Like, what is the long-term consequence of that because that's always a, has been the issue like trying to kill cancer it, it can also damage you because cancer cells are somewhat you know not it only muted a bit but otherwise it's your cell right so if you if you can arm something to you know basically damage this kind of a cancerous mass what are the chances it will damage you very significantly your organs and things flamethrowers but this is a story for another time for now, I'm cancer wait for that is a battleground. Time. But if human ingenuity is to be trusted, then one day, maybe in the not too distant future, we will eradicate it once and for all. This video was made possible in part by direct viewer support and in part through a grant by Gates Ventures. Thanks a lot for their support. Please check out our source document. Yeah, see that, that that thing that he said about uh, one day we might eradicate it. It feels nice to hear that. But one thing I learned about any life is that just like we adapt to the damages, they adapt to us. So there's always going to be new issues that we will have to tackle. But yeah, once we dominate a sector, like just say, you know, we know how to basically target cancer, it will be a big relief. But I'm sure, you know, they will mutate to certain specific thing that we can fight again. There will always going to be something like that. But right now, just like any, you know, critical cancerous mass and we are done, right? So we are at that point. So it will be much better if we can damage, you know, specifically damage those cancerous masses. Even if it adapts, I guess we'll be, you know, killing a lot of it, right? It will be rare if something we can't, if, if we get that right, basically. So yeah, that, that is so good. But you know, I, I'm waiting for, I'm gonna wait for that fucking video he's talking about because I really want to know about like, what is he talking about there? Like a new, like, is, is, it damage, is it damaging to our lungs? Like what is the risk ratio and everything? But yeah, this was a good video. Uh, this was a new way to understand cancer. That's not because in a nutshell. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.